The death of Limbani Piri's parents at his tender age left his dreams tested because there were no investment to plaster his basic needs. Limbani was born with a disability in Malawi on October 27, 1971 in Nkota but now based in Lilongwe at Shirinde 1. Though well, my parents died, but I kept on dreaming to, to be a boss one day. In fact, what I wanted is to work in an, an organization which is well financed and could assist me in whatever I was thinking about. In fact, I wanted to be a minister, but things did not work out to my plan. While the services available to people with disabilities were less extensive than they are today, Libani's physical disabilities made it hard for him to find his dream job. He began to race in selling newspapers since 1996 up to date. Being a person with disability, it was hard to find a job. But I tried myself here and there to look for the job. Fortunately, I met a certain man who was owning Kronko newspaper. I remember I sold 47 copies and I had remaining with three. They told me that after selling those papers, the following day I should come with the money and then they will give me another, the other papers. I was in line with my dreams and my, my dreams were coming to pass. So I started selling papers after a month and so many months after six months I found that I employed nine, nine people. And after that I even had a shop where I was going to Tanzania searching for merchandise to sell in my shop and I employed a certain lady in my shop while I was selling papers and maybe at times going to Tanzania to have those merchandise in, for my shop. While he started excelling and succeeding in selling newspapers and owning a clothing shop, Limbani's dreams were faced with another challenge when he was hit by a car. Let me show you where the car hit me. The car hit me here, so I couldn't even walk. My leg was completely paralyzed, but I couldn't even walk. So, I spent almost four to five months while I was nursing my, my injury there. I was nursing my injury at my brother's house in Vera. While he's nursing his injury, one of his employees stole all his earnings from the shop. My dream was shattered. I couldn't know where to start again. I was completely helpless because whatever I was thinking was completely gone and I had no way to, to fetch anything. I didn't have even food whatsoever. Having been through all these challenges, one would easily give up, but not Limbani. However, little by little, I started collecting some pieces so that maybe I can start selling newspapers again. And I, indeed, I started selling newspapers. From there, I bought a computer, whereby I want my dream to be fulfilled. And I know that one day, I will be where I want. I'm not even worried whatever I may come across because I've made so many problems in my life. But I'm, I'm having that hope that things will work out to fulfill my dream. Silent tears pain. Then the poo in his eyes seeing his dreams being shattered. However, these challenges fueled his determination to pursue his dreams. He is a dreamer who hopes that despite physical obstacles, he will achieve his dreams. The dreams seem to be shattered, but not dead. One day, things will work out. And because I'm a dreamer, and my dream will be fulfilled.